hello YouTube so it's me <laughs> I am back with a new vlog and um, if you read the title then you know I want to switch up my hair because I'm kind of tired of the orange I mean I don't hate it but at the same time you guys you guys know me I like changing up my hair and it's been a whole half a year with orange hair I mean it started when my hair was a little bit longer and it had the just the ends orange then I went more orange and now I'm tired of the orange I'm hoping that my local Sally's Beauty has good dye young because I want to try it out I don't know just try it out and switch things up and if I don't like it I can go back to overtone my faithful overtone I'm dressed very comfortably this is how I dress up when I film videos. I either will wear sweatpants or pajama bottoms. Only get dressed from the waist up. And by dress, I mean, I really don't put much effort. Sally's Beauty, just really quick, really quick. No other pit stops because I am taking care of uh, little Francis over there. She needs eye drops every four hours. Cause she has sensitive eyes <laughs> so just a quick trip bowie you can't go we made it sally's beauty so i'm gonna go in there not film because that would be a little bit weird so i just got out of sally's and i got some bleach and developer not for my whole head mostly for the bangs just because a lot of the bleached areas have been cut off already bangs grow out much quicker <laughs> and then I did pick up rock lobster they had the full range which I was super excited so we shall see how crazy this color looks don't consider this video a tutorial because it's not <laughs> it's just a vlog don't do what I do <laughs> unless you just don't care like I do I just, I just don't care what's the worst that can happen I ruin my hair and go back to a pixie cut I've already done it <laughs> So I have my supplies right here. I have my bowl, I have my brush, the bleach. I just grabbed the standard Feral Kaleidoscope, the blue one, this guy. Then I got 30 volume developer, have my rock lobster. <laughs> and I need to try to keep the counter clean. I'm gonna lay down some paper towels. Let's start mixing. I'm just gonna do the whole, uh, the whole little packet mixing ratio. One, two. Mix one sachet and two ounces of developer. This is four. Perfect ratio. Wow, math is so easy. Oh my god, no, I feel uh, so much. That is a lot of bleach. That is a lot of bleach. Smells horrible. <laughs> Smells like bleach, because it is bleach. Ugh. You know what? Let's just get into the mood, because um, tonight is rock lobster night, so. You know, I have a ton of bleach, so I'm gonna take some of the bleach and just apply it in my roots, since my hair has grown out quite a bit. Since I can't play the whole rock lobster song, I'm just gonna sing it really badly. So let's start. Hello, I am back. Obviously bleached a lot more than I thought I would. I didn't think it was going to make that much bleach, so yeah. We shall see how it ends up. I feel like I need to rinse it out soon. It's actually lifting pretty well. So the reason why I wanted to dye my hair today is because my cousin's getting married next week and um i just wanted a different look <laughs> a bright look i guess i've always been that eclectic cousin <laughs> so uh yeah i figured let's go red well i also figured if i go red and i step into another profession where you can't rock super bright hair colors I can always get a black, mix it in with a red, and then it'll be like a darker auburn, and then it'll look more work appropriate. 
I'm not gonna tell you what technique I use because I can't even tell you myself. I'm not a professional. If <laughs> you're doing this for the first time, I would suggest you not do it. I've, I mean, I have a long history of dyeing my own hair. I'm sure my hairdresser, if she watches this, I'm sorry. She's gonna be cringing a little bit, but it's just here. I think it's time to rinse out the bleach. The bit I could put the rock lobster. So this is how my hair looks like post bleaching. So it's orange. You know what? It's fine. Just because it looks like it belonged in my head already. I didn't put any bleach, especially on the ends. The ends are so dry. Good for the red. Good base for the red. So I should have put more on the bangs though. That's where I wanted <laughs> more dimension and uh, it's all right. Hello. This is the end of the video. That This is my new hair. This is a look. <laughs> I'm gonna try and brush this out a little bit. And then we're just gonna apply the red. So this has five fluid ounces. I feel like I'm gonna actually get my money's worth. Oh, this is thick. <laughs> That's what she said. First impression, I really like the thicker consistency. It makes it much easier to apply and not get it like everywhere. You know what, I think I'm probably going to use a whole tube. <laughs> Cause I've used up almost all of the amount that I just squeezed. Mm, it doesn't have the best scent. Cause um, Arctic Fox smells like, uh, smells like candy. Then you have Overtone that smells like mint. And this just, it doesn't smell bad, but it also doesn't smell that good. All right, so the red is in. The application process was actually very pleasant, very reminiscent of the Overtone Deep Treatment, which is my favorite formula that I've tried up until Good Die Young, because both of them are very thick, so it was very easy to spread, doesn't drip. I did stain my skin a little bit, but I, it was just because I was messy. I'm gonna let this sit. It says for a minimum of 30 minutes. Usually I let these types of dye sit as long as I, <laughs> as long as I want. An hour, maybe two hours. So we'll see. I'll find some YouTube videos or Netflix or something to entertain myself. Very red. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> I'm excited to have something a little bit darker. Because the orange, while I liked it, while I did love the orange, once it would start fading, it would get very light. So it just made me miss darker hair. And this is coming from the girl that said 2020 will be the year that I go blonde. <laughs> selling mini caps machines. Right, I was just find a vending machine selling mini vending machines. The creepy corner. So let's take a peek. Oh, <laughs> it's like double knee. Let's take a peek. My battery's about to die. Probably gonna stain my scalp. <laughs> But it's okay. It'll wash off eventually. So it is 9.17, so it's been an hour since I applied the Good Day Young Rock Lobster. I completely forgot to show how my hair turned out. <laughs> I was just editing a makeup tutorial, the one that I am wearing right now for my Instagram and uh, then I realized, oh yeah, I need to finish up the vlog. <laughs> so this is how Good Da Young's Rock Lobster looks on my big ass head. I really like it. It's really red. <laughs> of course, it's really red, but it just looks so cool. Obviously my hair is gonna be a little bit drier for a little bit, but it doesn't feel all that bad put some texturizing spray so I could get some volume in. So that's giving it a little bit of a drier texture, but it felt really nice. It applied really well. It conditioned my hair. The ends feel so soft, actually. I was very surprised. And um, yeah, so quite pleased with Good Die Young. That being said, I will give it some cons. It ran underwater 
so much like it got all over the place thankfully it didn't stain the bathtub or my shower too much but it is super messy i hadn't seen like dye run that much since i first got my hair dyed blue with pravana that one also did the same thing like with overtone when i rinse out the hair of course you're gonna get a lot of the dye out but there comes a point that the water almost comes out like a pastel color not completely clear but a really light shade of whatever color that you're rocking with this it was just completely red the whole time like there came, <laughs> there came a point that was like I don't feel any dye in my hair so I should stop rinsing out the hair color <laughs> so that's what I did and it did stain my my towel but it's no big deal my towel has been through how many colors now blue teal green <laughs> kind of pinkish uh, orange so like so, like a, a few colors six colors there we go six I can count <laughs> But yeah, it looks really cool. And the, the areas where I bleached it came out really nice. So now I don't have as much of the brown. Well, my dark brown hair showing. And uh, what's showing is, I mean, I feel like it's blended all right. <laughs> Decently enough for me to justify it. <laughs> so yeah, I now have red hair. This is what we have, so not much, but I can squeeze out a little bit more. All right, I think that's enough. I don't want to get a copyright strike for playing Rock Lobster. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you like the red hair down below. There will also be my hair care routine linked down below in case you're like me who gets bored, bleaches your hair, and changes the color so yeah dry damage here yeah i got you there's a routine for that link down below <laughs> i'll see you guys very soon in my next video i won't be changing the red anytime soon well i don't know <laughs> i don't know about that it might make it darker but that will be for another day <laughs> bye